This is a 400, yes, 400,000 kilometer E34 M5. My friends at Vulcan Motorworks have been working on this car mechanically. They've done suspension, engine work. It's roadworthy and it's pretty solid and they've documented all of it on their YouTube channel, which I will have linked in the description below. Now it's time for some aesthetic work, the easier work I'd say. The paint on this is in one of the worst conditions I have seen in recent years, which is honestly very exciting. So I'm gonna put in three days or about 36 to 40 working hours on this car, exclusively using detailing techniques. I'm not gonna be replacing things. I'm not gonna be going overboard, just strictly detailing practices. And I'm gonna see how far we can get this car along in just three days. are now I would say clean enough there's some adhesive left over from some old wheel weights we're gonna go in later clean that up as well as some weird dunk on the outer lip of three of them so I'm gonna go in with a little bit of sandpaper sand it polish them up seal them with something and we should be good to go but we'll do that later now it's time for a very much needed decon wash so we're gonna rinse the whole car down iron remove it decon soap it play it we'll dry it and then at that point we should really be able to see what the paint is looking like and I'm pretty sure it is not gonna be very good at all, but that'll be fun. I'm excited. Before then, I just wanna take 30 seconds to mention that you can use code CHROMATIC at checkout on Carzilla's website. We've been doing this for three to four years now. It's a smaller family-run business in Canada. Being small, I believe they have the largest variety of in-stock detailing products, North America-wide at least. 
say there's a new brand that's popping off online a week or two weeks later, they'll have it in stock ready for you guys to get your dirty little hands on it, which has always been a pleasure. It's exciting, keeps detailing fresh. So helps the channel, helps the family run business. Both of these are good things. Everything linked below. I have all the detailing products I use, as well as the link to their website in the description.
has got to be the worst paint I've personally ever dealt with in my life. Very excited to see how this turns out. So we'll get some light on it, pop some trims off, and maybe do a test spot or two and see what we can really get out of this. the bumper off because this side of it this specific corner was sagging like three inches I assumed it was this guide right here as you can see it's all mangled in the part so I'm gonna plastic weld that back together so that the bumper stays on there's not a lot of weight on it it just helps it guide it along that body line which is super simple and things like this fog light it fell out of its guide right here so I'm gonna take it off slide it back in and then when I do it back up it should be solid this bumper is obviously totaled but I just want to do a couple things to make it look as good as possible. I'm also going to pop off the grills so that I can paint them sam trim black. They just look a little washed, a little too far gone and it's a pretty easy thing to I think make a pretty big impact on the car. <laughs> got everything I want off the car. I'm gonna mess with pretty much everything in this pile. So plate filler, sem trim black, as well as the front grills. They're faded and super inconsistent. So instead of messing with trim restore, we will just paint them and they will look brand new. The rear trims on the car are gloss black. Someone in the state of laziness probably just painted the whole bumper with the trims on, which I understand lazy is fun. What I'm going to do with these is probably swap them out with my old E34 trims that are the factory finish and in quite a bit better condition. The nose panel has a couple of these like rust spots so I'll probably chip those away and fill them in with a little bit of touch up paint. It's a pretty inconspicuous area so as long as it looks like half decent it will look better than rust. Front trims, those are decent so I will just use trim restore as well as the rear ones once I switch them out. And that's pretty much everything I'm gonna mess with off the car. So now we can tape it up, but first we are gonna throw the front bumper back on. I went ahead and just polished the top of it beforehand. No need to show that, but you can't really get access to that top section once it's on. So I polished that real quick. I glued the little plastic mount. So we'll slap that on, pop the bumper on, and then get to polishing.
This is something I think we all like. So, so we had, that's what we're gonna get. I think it came out pretty good. Is it perfect? No, this car will never be perfect and that's okay. We just, we're aiming for as good as possible and I think this is just that. So I'm using Rupes Blue. This is their coarse wool pad. Griot's Fast Correcting Cream, of course, and then a number of different Rupes polishers. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the whole vehicle, and then instead of polishing it, I'm gonna use Griot's finishing sealant on a Rupes yellow foam pad to kind of mix up the polish and the sealant stage. This vehicle isn't gonna get coated because I believe the owner is gonna go ahead and do some bodywork afterwards, and mixing coatings with bodywork is just a recipe for fish eyes, so I'm gonna keep it simple, but I think they'll be pretty happy with the way this finishes out. <laughs> Thank you. 
but it's really good in my opinion considering the starting point so what we're gonna do now I'm gonna polish the glass not gonna film that and I'm going to put some touch-up paint on some of the rock chips the disgusting front bumper and just some areas that I think could benefit from it it's not gonna be perfect nothing about this is gonna be perfect it's just going to improve it and create a overall more solid look but before I do any of that, I am going to paint these trims just because they're going to need the longest time to dry. So front rails, back trims, plate filler, front trims, they're all going to get a coat or two of Sem trim black, and that should have them looking brand new. Once that's done, then we'll move on to the touch up paint on the car. <laughs>
matte and polished. It doesn't really pick it up too much on camera, but that polish at the end really brings the paint together. It adds a whole nother depth to the gloss black paint, which this is. I thought it was Schwartz too, but it's actually just gloss black, which is kind of cool. I'm assuming that is a little more rare. The Schwartz 2 is pretty common, but nonetheless, it nearly looks identical to Schwartz 2. Now I'm going to rip the tape off so that I can put on these trims. I don't really remember what these side trims look like in terms of condition, and all I want them to do is match this stuff. So if they're in decent condition, chances are I may just clean them up and put something like Beadmaker on them so that they match these having super glossy trims and then more OEM finish trims mixed with weird dressed tires. Not really the vibe, so we want everything to match as close as possible, so that's what we're going to do. Tape off, trims on, and assess.
I wasn't originally going to paint these trims, but the paint was looking good, the glass was looking good, everything was really coming together and they were kind of sticking out like a sore thumb. So as I was mentioning earlier, the goal was to really improve the overall look of the car. Nothing super in particular, not just the paint, not just the trims, we wanted everything to be raised up a level. So in order to do that, painting them was necessary and they're just a complete pain to remove. You have to remove the headliner and a bunch of trims, so on the car, just as easy. Now. Gonna remove the plastic, polish up the wheels a little bit, throw some tire dressing on, and we have ourselves a completed E34 M5. This is what I was talking about with the wheel weights on the wheels. You can see there's quite a few of them mounted to the outer lip. So I'm gonna take some tar remover, let it soak, scrape those off, and then I'm gonna take the three inch polisher and go at the whole wheel just to improve the look a little bit. As you can see, or maybe you can't see, there is some clear coat peeling on most of the spokes of the wheel, which isn't great, but I think it's pretty Im imperceptible when you're more than two feet away. Like from here, you really can't notice it. So the polish will just spice them up a little bit, and then we'll hit them with some tire dressing, which should really complete the look. And then we'll take a look at the whole car as it will be complete at that point. <laughs> I did a bunch of very, very small things off camera, a bunch of little things that I think really did contribute to the overall look of the car, but things that weren't necessarily important to show because this video is already 35 minutes long. I think it turned out pretty good. If you don't, that's okay. I'm occasionally wrong as well, but we'll see what the owner thinks. They should be somewhat impressed. There's still obviously defects all over the car, trims that are falling off, not matching, but in terms of overall, aesthetic value i think we raised it drastically and in only about 40 45 hours of work which is it's not that long it's like three three and a half days depending on how you spread it out but that's it the video is done as i mentioned at the start code chromatic on carzilla all the products are linked below merchandise from our website also linked below and that's it if you made it this far thank you for watching